Hello boys and girls, and welcome back to Kids on the Living Edge. It is so wonderful to be back with you. This week, we have a brand new series called Plate It. Now I know what you're thinking, plate what? We are gonna learn all about the prophets and how God used the prophets to help his people. You know, prophets had a big job. They had to give news. Sometimes it was great news and good news, and sometimes it was not good news at all. But whatever news it was, whether it was good or bad, it was always their job to tell God's people what God wanted them to know. Well, you know, I'm so excited that this series is coming right on time for Thanksgiving. I hope you're getting ready for all your favorite foods and have fun with your friends and family. We are gonna be learning in week one about Elijah and how he helped a widow. And week two, we're gonna learn about how Hannah prayed for a baby and God gave her not just a baby, oh my goodness, he gave her a prophet. And in week three, we're gonna learn about this baby who grew up, his name was Samuel. And week four, we're gonna learn about the ultimate prophet, yes, Jesus, the savior of the world. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoy this series called Played It, and I hope you're getting ready for a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday. Well, boys and girls, I hope you're ready. Let's get into our new series. Hey friends, I am so excited today. Today we are in my kitchen. Have you ever cooked anything in the kitchen with your family before? I love it here! I'm usually not allowed in here by myself because there are lots of dangerous things, like sharp knives in the stove that gets really hot! But my grandma is with me, and she's going to show me how to make a delicious fruit salad! Hmm, what is a fruit salad? I don't really know! I wonder if it's green stuff that my parents eat along with bananas. We will find out together, though. By the way, what is your favorite fruit? Can you shout it out? Take a look at all the fruits on the counter here. I know what this is, and this is, and even this. I have no idea what this one is. I think it's a kiwi. Can you say kiwi? That sounds so funny to say! I really hope my grandma doesn't use this one, though. Hmm... That looks really interesting! Well, here she comes! Let's listen to today's Bible story, and when we come back, I'll show you the most delicious fruit salad ever! Let's hope it tastes yummy! It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from 1 Kings chapter 17, verses 8 to 16. Elijah was a prophet of God. That means that God spoke to Elijah, and Elijah would share what God said to him with other people. The problem was that sometimes people didn't want to hear it, especially people who were in power like kings and queens. To get away from these angry rulers, Elijah would have to run for his life and hide. One time when this happened, Elijah was led by God to hide beside a brook. A brook is a small stream. Elijah stayed there for a while and God gave him water and food while he was hiding from the angry rulers. But then the brook dried up, so Elijah had to move on. Then God led him to another place, the home of a widow who had one son. She was out collecting firewood when Elijah saw her and asked her for a drink. She started to go get a drink for the visitor when Elijah also asked for something to eat. The widow told Elijah that she only had enough food for one last meal for her and her son. She was collecting firewood to make that meal, and then she was sure to die. Of all the places God would lead Elijah, God led him here to a woman 
and her child in great need. Elijah knew God wanted to take care of her and her son, but she would have to trust God first. Elijah told the woman to make him something to eat with what she had left, even though it looked like she would have no food left at all. Elijah told her not to worry. She wasn't going to run out of food. So that's what she did. She made Elijah something to eat, and it happened just as Elijah had said. She never ran out of food for her and her son until the time when they weren't in need anymore. This story helps us remember that God is always watching over us. That's why before we do anything else, we need to, step one, trust God. That Bible story was awesome! It kind of made me think about how a cook prepares a delicious dish. The first step in cooking is having the right ingredients. What ingredients did I need for my fruit salad? Once I had all my ingredients, everything else was super easy. We sometimes have problems. The woman in our story didn't have enough food. But before doing anything else, she needed to do one thing first. She needed to trust God. When she trusted God, everything turned out okay. That's why today's big idea is... Step one is to trust God. Say it with me. Step one, trust, trust God. God. So here is what we made. But she used kiwi. Kale, are you enjoying the fruit salad, dear? I haven't tried yet, Grandma. I'm kind of scared of the kiwi. It's delicious. Well, you should try it. Okay. Hmm. It's not that bad. It's actually really, really good. Wow. My grandma really knew what she was doing! <laughs> wow! Friends, today was fun! And with grandma's help, I made the most delicious fruit salad ever! And now, I can say I even tried kiwi! Gotta run now and share some with my parents! Bye for now! Wow, I always love the story of Hannah. Isn't that great? Well, Hannah reminds us of our big idea for today, which is step two in our recipe, and that is talk to God. That's right, talk to God in prayer. Whatever it is, don't forget to talk to God when you pray. All right, boys and girls, I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson about Hannah and step two. All right, I'll see you for week three. Bye-bye.